Good afternoon, everybody. I'm red from top to bottom. I got my sister's red boxer shorts on that she sent me. Boxing shorts. Not underwear. Boxing basketball shorts. And uh, thank you very much, T. I'm enjoying them. I'm using them as pajamas. I've got my red hat on. YouTube likes red. Every time I wear red, they usually stick my teaching out there to the public. I'm, I'm Scottish. I'm English Scottish. I got my Scottish scarf on here. I wore this uh, Saturday morning when we did the uh, Apache Junction Bluegrass Festival. We were the first group up, the gospel group Nehemiah. We do old gospel from the 40s, 50s, and 60s and uh, the good old stuff, and they liked it. They applauded over half of the audience, and there was seated right at 10 o'clock, at least 200 or more, and it got up to five or 600. We had people having heart attacks. The fire department was called out. You know, it was just uh, the stuff that goes out. Oh, boy, I had beans and potato salad and a pork Barbecue pork sandwich. Melt in your mouth good. Hey ha! Filtered water. Do you have your earthquake pack ready, your backpack? And in it, do you have your activated charcoal in a Ziploc bag and your fine sand for making a water filter with a, a little eyedropper full of bleach because you only need Two drops of bleach to one quart of water to kill the bacteria that the filter doesn't get. And you got to stir it up, wait 30 minutes, and the nasty creek water is drinkable without making you sick. Three, three, and three. You got to breathe air, have an air filter. If you're outside the sulfuric acid fallout of a volcano, if you're in zone two and three, you got to have some kind of painter's mask. Three minutes of air, all right? Three day, three hours without shelter in bitter cold. You need somewhere to, some way to hold in your body heat. You have three hours to survive in bitter cold, whether water or snow, okay? And uh, at three, 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 four threes. Three days without water. That's why... Water is more important than food, and then you have enough uh, candy bars of uh, the the health variety, uh, the healthy candy bars with oatmeal and uh, peanut butter and chocolate drops in them, for and uh, small and light and cheap at the dollar store, thirty days. So you got three, 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 and three, four threes. So do you have your earthquake pack? Uh, prepared, all right, and it could turn into a backpack from if you're outside the nuclear fallout of, of a, a city getting nuked. Do you have your backpack in the trunk or in the garage or somewhere where you can get to it real quick and just grab it and you're on your way? All that to be said, I'm going to give you a new spiritual revelation, and if you're not born of the Spirit, it won't be important. You'll have no idea what I'm talking about or saying. So only you spirit-born people, the rest of you can turn me off. All right? Only spirit-born. We're reading 1 John, the same writer that wrote the Gospel of John and Revelation, but we're reading 1 John, the last chapter, the fifth chapter of 1 John. We'll start one verse before. And this commandment we have from him, the Lord Jesus Christ, or from God, the Father, El Father, that we, that he who loves God must love his brother also, brethren also. Now, the brethren is male and female. They're saint sons. There is an elect called, chosen, placed with a gift to edify, mature and responsible. I add those last two words, mature and responsible. But there is the elect called placed, elect called chosen placed with gifts to edify, okay? They are saint sons. It's a calling. They're, a woman can be a son. A woman can be a saint. She's in the saint son calling, even though she's a sister or a woman. Born of the Spirit is the key. If you're not born of the Spirit, 
forget this teaching, all right? Go watch and listen or look at something else on your phone. Don't stay with me. Verse 5, 1. Whoever believes, now it's about believing, it's about being born, it's about loving, all right? And you go on to the Spirit, and it's witness and testimony of the Lord. Now, here's what I want to do in this fifth verse that's spiritual. No numbers. You get the circle of life. In it, you have alpha, and you end with the circle of life, omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the author and the finisher, all right? The finisher. I started it, I'm going to end it. I started it, created it, I'm going to judge it. All right? Unto eternal life, immortality, dwelling in the light. All right, so much for that. A whole lot of teachings are whizzing by here. If you're not spiritual, you won't catch it. If you're not born of the Spirit. Nicodemus know, knew the word till he was blue in the face. He was a master, a teacher of Israel. Nicodemus, one thing you lack, to see or to enter the kingdom of God, the heavenly kingdom of God, you must be born of the Spirit. If you're not born of the Spirit, you don't have Christ in you, you're none of his. Sorry to give you the bad news. Read Romans 8, 9 through 11. Dwell, 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 three times, major doctrine. If Christ is not dwelling in you, you're none of his. That's what being born of the Holy Spirit is about. Born of Spirit, born of Christ anointing Spirit. All right, I read on. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ or Lord Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves him who is begot also loves him that is begotten of him. The begot is El Father. The begotten is Christ the Son. One and the same, extension of self. That's a heavy statement. You need to seal that one. Extension of self. Christ is God. God is Christ. The Father and the Son are the one and the same thing. It's just an extension of self. A, a second state of the first or the one. I read on. Oh, we're not supposed to use any numbers. Forgive me. No numbers in the fifth chapter. No one, no two, no three, no four, no seven. No numbers. If you use anything, you use Harmony, love, harmony, unity, same. That's as close as you can get to a number. Love, harmony, unity, same. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna, when I come to a number, I've blacked it out with my pen, and I'm not going to say that word that's in your Bible if you're following me. Verse 2, uh, by this we know that we love the saint sons. I added sons. The saint sons of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. For, he, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. I'm reading a new King James Version. There's no these and thou's and there are some words that are changes and some words that are added. Uh, verse 4. 4. Whatever is born, there's born for the second time, true witness, born of God, overcometh the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith in, I add in, it's no longer an invisible bucket of faith or blind faith. It's faith in, question mark. Faith in what? In Christ, anointing, seed, the Son. This is all about a witness and a testimony of God. God's witness and testimony is greater than man, and the begot, El Father, is giving witness and testimony to the begotten Son. It's about witness and testimony to the Son, and that life, eternal life, is in the Son. It has nothing to do with anything else. It's witnessing and testimony to the Son. I read on, verse 5. Who is he who overcometh the world but he that believeth? There is believe for the second time. You get it for the third time. Major doctrine. Believe, believe, believe. It's about believers. The second word, verse 5, 1. Whoever believes. Do you believe enough to confess, give witness and testimony that you believe that the Lord Jesus is the Son of God? All right. 
And that life, eternal life, is in him. And he has to be in you, dwelling, to have eternal life. Because you're none of his. You're not Christ. If Christ is not in you, you're none of his. I hope you're getting this. All right. Born in four, were in five, believe for a second time, verse six. This is he who came by water and blood. And you got to know the V on its side. The high spiritual and the low mental, man-centered, IQ, intellect, uh, el- illumination, not revelation. That's There's a difference there between revel- spiritual revelation and illumination of man's intellect. So much for that. All right, back up. Verse 6. This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, calling Lord, not only by water, and, but by blood, by water and blood. Verse 7 is actually the last half of verse 6. That's a great revelation, especially if you're reading Revised Standard. Verse 7 starts with, And it is the Spirit who bears witness because the Spirit is truth. The last half of verse 6 is actually verse 7. And verse 7 in King James, you X out the whole thing. Don't even read it. It's added. It's not in Septuagint. It's not in the Greek. Before the Latin, verse 7 is added to support to support Trinity. You're not supposed to say words that the Holy Spirit didn't put in his word. And I'm saying, I'll tell you what I'm saying. The word Trinity. Don't say, did you get it? Did you get it? All right. Verse 7 doesn't belong there. It's been added by a scribe after Catholicism. All right. Early Catholicism believed in the one unity. Forgive me for using a number, but in the unity same of God, the oneness of God, early Catholicism. But within 25 to 50 years, they did. Okay. You know what I'm saying when I put my hand over my mouth. Verse eight. And there are, black out the next word that bear witness on earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and these are, and these, black out the next word, we're not using any numbers, and these agree as unity, same, harmony, love, of the Son, bearing witness and testimony of the Son, We're teaching the fifth chapter of 1 John using no numbers. We black out every word that refers to a number. This is a great spiritual revelation. It'll open your understanding if you do this. If we receive the witness of man, the witness of God is greater. Faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these three is love. God is love. The witness of God is greater. Middle of nine, for this is the witness of God, which he has testified of his son. It's all about witness and testimony that the Lord Jesus Christ is the son of God. That's what this is all about. Not Trinity. All right. Verse 10, he who believes, there's believe for the third time. You must be a believer and you must believe enough to confess testimony, witness, confess with your mouth that you believe the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He who believes in the Son of God has the witness in himself. He who believes not, believes not, God has made him a liar because he has not believed the testimony that God has given to his Son. We get eternal life. We get life, life, life three times in 11 and 12. You must believe for the third time. Believe for the fourth time. Two times in 13. We go on. Hear, hear. Do you hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches? Born in 18 twice. All right. And I read this quickly. Verse 20. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us and spiritual understanding that we may know him who is true and we are in him who is true truth in the Son, Jesus Christ, and this is the true God in eternal life. Call Jesus Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm the Scottish truth teacher. Bye.